Hello everybody, this is Chris back again with the Ancient Scholar. So today I'm going to be talking about the Pressure Time Scaler, uh, another uh, scaler that can give us information. So what I have is I have a drawing of the Pressure Time Scaler, it's Pressure Time Waveform. Again, time is always going to be on the x-axis here, and my airway pressure is going to be on the y-axis with a baseline at zero, zero pressure. Numbers above the baseline are generally going to be positive numbers and numbers below the baseline are going to be negative numbers. Now, in mechanical ventilation with a mandatory breath, a mandatory machine-delivered breath or a machine-supported or augmented breath, we'll say, not, not necessarily mandatory, but if the machine pushes air into the patient, then you will see that, um, rot, that pressure above the baseline. Now, if a patient were to take a spontaneous breath and suck in, and take their own breath, you would actually see that negative. So let's be very, very clear about what's going on with the patient. If the patient's taking spontaneous breaths, the pressure is going to be negative during in inspiration and positive during expiration or exhalation. However, if the machine is delivering the breath, the, it'll be positive during inspiration and then may dip a little bit during, during expiration, but you probably are not going to see that. You're going to see a waveform that looks like this or this. Um, so this is just a basic anatomy of a waveform. Um, so this tip here, of course, is going to be my PIP, my peak inspiratory pressure. We'll say that's 30 here. You may see something that looks like this. You also may see a waveform that looks like this here. So what I've done here is you can see this little plateau, this little plateau here. This plateau and that is indicative of an inspiratory hold. And this is what I've done to obtain the plateau pressure, or the P-plat. And you guys should be fairly familiar with what a plateau pressure is at this point and um, how that is a representation of static compliance. So I still have my PIP here, my PIP, my peak inspiratory pressure, but I've done an inspiratory hold and I have a plateau and I have a plateau pressure. And that's what a waveform, pressure time waveform, would look like with a plateau. Some other things that we can identify with a pressure time waveform or scalar are the presence of, or can be the presence of PEEP. So if I put somebody on PEEP therapy, my baseline here is at zero pressure. Where will the new baseline be with a patient on PEEP? Well, let's say that I give them five of PEEP. So this is 0, we'll say this is 5, this is 10, this is 15, this is 20. So my baseline, my new baseline, will actually start at 5 instead of 0. 5 of PEEP, and then we'll go ahead and uh, give our pressure wave. So I have inspiration here, and then of course I'm exhaling here until the next breath comes. So you can see that all of this above the baseline, all this here is PEEP. Now another thing that we can identify with the pressure time scaler is if a patient is triggering a breath, such as uh, uh, let's say that they're in assist control. And uh, let's go ahead and just give them five of PEEP since we know what that looks like now. So here's my baseline at 5 of PEEP. And let's say that we see a little dip, a little dip below the baseline, and then a breath delivered. And let's say, let's put them on 0 of PEEP as well. So on 0 of PEEP, it'll look like this. There'll be a little dip, pressure will be delivered, what does that little dip, that little dip here, and that little dip here indicate, would be the question. Well, that indicates the patient attempting to take a breath or triggering the ventilator. So the patient is drawing down the ventilator, and, and we're assuming pressure triggering here, draws down to a certain pressure. Uh, you know, probably two negative two to negative three centimeters of water below the baseline pressure. Once it reaches that point, the, the ventilator recognizes that the patient is attempting to take a breath, and then the ventilator goes goes ahead and takes over and gives the patient his 
his or her breath. So this is characteristic of the assist control mode. Assist control mode of ventilation. You will see this. This is triggering the ventilators. And it, of course this would be pressure triggering because we can also do flow triggering. <clears throat> And that, those are the major things that we can identify, the major, uh, that's the major anatomy of the pressure time scaler. So hopefully you guys found that fairly intuitive, and uh, we'll see you guys in subsequent videos and talk about uh, subsequent waveforms. Take care, everyone.